big data has been around for a while, but it's what you do with it and how you interpret it and ensuring that you do it in a responsible way. And that's a super important piece that we obviously take full responsibility for and diligent, not just for our employees, but also for our customers. And if I look at how we, it, how we use data at scale in an anonymized way for our customers, is we, we, we look to track and identify how they engage with our products and our services. And if we're identifying that a customer isn't being able to unlock the full potential of our products, they may be calling more into the customer support team with queries and there might be a gap of knowledge simply because they're not able to nor have been trained properly on the full power of our product. So that's an opportunity for us to lean in as a business and offer learnings and development for our, for our customers to be able to get the, the full impact of uh, adopting our products. So then if I look at it from the employee perspective then, you know, I spoke a little bit earlier in, in, in at the event this morning around the importance of the employee experience and being able to have a pulse check on how employees are feeling on a regular basis. And we do that on a weekly basis in terms of taking a pulse check of how people are feeling one out of five and then open text to just describe why you feel that way. And again, we pull at scale across the company that information again in a, an anonymized way to be able to identify trends of how people are feeling as we traverse what has been a crazy couple of years and will continue to be, particularly for a company like ours that is scaling and growing at such a pace. And I think what often happens is companies and departments can build so many data points that actually they're not clear on which ones are the most important ones. So doing that regular review on a monthly, quarterly basis to ensure that you're looking at less data points but the ones that really do drive the business and ensuring that you're looking at that and doing the rigor of that on a very regular basis because things change, markets change, teams and performance changes. So being able to ensure that you are adapting what good looks like from a key performance indicator, relying on data to ensure that you're making the right decisions and you're working with your teams and with the marketplace. We have a responsibility uh, together with the university in terms of corporations and the university to prepare our students for growth into the work life. And it's been a very challenging number of years in terms of that kind of predictable kind of pathway through you know, university systems and academia into work life. And therefore, we as a company need to lean in more and take that responsibility seriously and more seriously to ensure that we're preparing students for having a smoother transition from academia into corporations and we do that by getting into the work into the classrooms and by ensuring that learnings and or assignments that students are going through are applicable to real life and they're actually building their cvs during their undergrads and master programs by working on real life company examples